Rafael Cruz is uh, Ted Cruz's uh, father. He helped him in his Senate run, uh, and at the time he had said that we need to send Obama back to Chicago and then back to Kenya. Hmm. He has said in the past that his son is the anointed one, chosen by God. Interesting. As Ben Mankiewicz would say, a curious choice by the Almighty. Uh, so now we find out more and more clips about Rafael Cruz. And you might think, well, look, it's the guy's dad. And I'm with you, man. Uh, you can't be responsible for everything your dad says, of course, right? But Rafael Cruz has been used by Ted Cruz as a surrogate, very, not just during the election, but afterwards as well. So he puts them out there. And any spokesperson, any surrogate that Ted Cruz uses in his political campaigning is relevant for that reason alone. And JR made a great point about this, our producer JR Jacks. He said, look, they said Obama sat there in the Church of Reverend Wright all those years. And by the way, Rafael Cruz is also a pastor. Ted Cruz sat in that church, sat in that home, and it, look, it's his dad, okay, fine, <laughs> I understand you can't leave the house, but you didn't have to put him out there knowing what he believes and have him go around the country saying that Obama's a Muslim. By the way, something else that Rafael Cruz has said. Now, this is all in prelude to a fun clip from Rafael Cruz where he's going to explain to us what the real goal of Marxism is. Let's have fun. It is about government control of your lives. And you've got to realize how Marxism, how socialism works. And we need to understand the issues. When you hear all these things about homosexual marriage, this has nothing to do with homosexual rights. Did you know that? The whole objective is the destruction of the traditional family. It's just like... Evolution. You know, most Americans have their head in the sand about evolution. I met so many Christians, Christians. that tell me, well, evolution is a scientific fact. Bologna! <laughs> I am a scientist. There's nothing scientific about evolution. But you know something? Karl Marx said it. I can use the teachings of Darwin to promote communism. Why? Because what? communism, or call it socialism if you think communism is too hard a word, necessitates for government to be your God. And for government to be your God, they need to destroy the concept of God. That's why communism and evolution go handy. Now I say to you, why? Well, why do they do that? I know about the Christianity. Okay, and look, I, I, I'm a scientist. I love that part. <laughs> Who made you a scientist? <laughs> I, I, it just throws it. Uh, trust me, it's evolution and uh, nonsense. Okay, and it, it, uh, gravity, it gives you a baloney. Okay, you jump out building, don't worry. <laughs> a baloney, you're fine. A scientist. <laughs> now, look, this substance of this is this guy is saying the homosexual rights have nothing to do with it. It's funny because it seems like a lot of homosexuals are pressing for those rights. It seems like they care about it because it would kind of be their rights. But apparently, no, that's all a ruse. They're like, no, 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 my right to marry, I don't care about that. No, no, this is actually a Marxist plot to control straight people or all people, but have the government control all of our lives. Now, why do gay people want to have their lives controlled by the government? The government hasn't been overly kind to them throughout history. Hmm. Really, not really explained by Rafael Cruz, but that's okay because he's a scientist. And all they say was a little bit of baloney. Okay? So it's classic projection as usual. Now, do I look? So they would categorize me as a progressive. I am, I am a progressive. And they would say he's a liberal and all this stuff. And so apparently I'm supposed to be for big government. It's weird how. I don't want big government spying in on me or creating more wars, and I can list a hundred different things, or deciding whether I should have an abortion or not, or the people that I love, etc., invading their body. It's funny how these liberals who want to control your control you through the government actually don't want big government in so many different ways. But anyway, it's the projection is they want to control you, so they they want to say, like, oh yeah, no, no, don't do that with your body, okay? Nope, nope, no, don't do that because I don't like no missionary position, dog. Oh. 
What are you doing with that dog? Get the attic, get a geek, geek, get, right? They want to control every part of you with their religion, with their dogma, with their fundamentalism. So they think, well, since I want to control you, I guess liberals, what he calls socialist, Marxist, communist, they must want the same thing. So, I mean, since I want to run every part of your life, I assume they do too. So gay rights must, because I, I know what I do, is I pretend to care about something when in fact I care about something else. Like I pretend that I care about government or deficits or debt, and all in fact all I want to do is force my fundamentalism down your throat. So probably liberals do the same thing, so they probably say, oh, I pretend about gay rights, but in reality you want to control. Look, here's the reality. I don't, I don't want to control your life at all. I got enough problems of my own. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Sit there and be like, oh, okay, hey, Bob, don't do that, man. Wrong again, Bob. Okay, no, do something else. I, just thinking about it is exhausting. Why would I want to control your life? But that's how conservatives are. They're enormously arrogant, and they think they have the right to tell you how to live, and then they go ahead and project it upon you and say, you see that? The socialists want to control you. Total and utter baloney.